Hello, one and all, this is Don't what I'm talking about. Welcome back to Let's Play on. Thief Gold. When we last left off, these guys are on the hunt to find Garrett. They're really close, they just haven't quite figured it out yet. And they're really determined as well. I know you're around here somewhere. The temptation okay, to pop a Tampa. grenade. Find you. Is so high, but I really don't think I can snag both of them. Well, I'm going to loot your potion. Come on now, come on. Because I don't need that getting in the way if I do decide to throw a bomb. Come back here and fight. Plus, I don't think the effect of the flash bomb lasts very long when they're looking. Pretty sure if I swing while they're in this in this state, I know you're around here somewhere. They'll be, okay, they'll just you take the the bludgeoning damage I'll and stay conscious. You know what? I'm gonna screw myself here and make a save. Cause they're not giving up, but that is going to Come partially down, reset their AI. Tap. I'm gonna try this. Better or for worse? No. Nope, Come nope, out here! Nope. I dare you! This will only work if if only one of them is available. I'll find you. Damn you! This plan is so bad. When I find you. You know you're around here it. somewhere. <laughs> what am I supposed to do with you guys? Got a oh. You have to do better than that. Yeah, sir. yeah, that's oh. that's how that was gonna go. Okay, all right, we quick live, and it never happened. Although that was amusing. Was that one behind me? Nope, he still saw me briefly <laughs> enough. There's a little bit. Of darkness on here, but you have to you have to climb a little bit up to get to it. Oh well. All right. I have a moment. Let's start killing the lights. We'll make a quick save here. Kill the weapon and when it's convenient for us. Sir, let's go over here. Was that you? Oh well, I don't know what it was. The fact that you didn't see me marks you as a complete idiot. The fact that you didn't see me again makes you a bigger idiot. Oh! Getting into that hole is the dream, though, man. If I get in there, I'm I'm good. Hello. I see there. There's an intruder here. Nope. I have to get into that hole. Okay. Sweet. This is where I want to be. And this is here. It's good to know the paths. Now let's start killing these lights. Sir? Was that you? <laughs> I've forgotten what happens when you actually hit one of these guys with the water arrows. I thought they became more concerned than that. Oh, fooey. My archery skills are lacking. 
try a little higher up, shall we? Not quite. They are actually noticing the water, noticing the arrows. They should be noticing me with my current light situation. Now, I am not going to get that one, but I can get the one right in front of me if somebody doesn't get in the way. That does alert them. I figured as much, but I needed to confirm, because sometimes they apparently don't care. No, 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 no. Now. And that has darkened this hallway significantly. To the point where I can crawl pretty much all the way up it. Oh, hello. I forgot about that one. Someone making noise? And that didn't upset any of them. Wonderful. Hmm. And now, as long as I'm not moving, this hallway is very dark. And there's very easy sword access. We can make this situation even better. Did you see that too? Did I get it? I got it. Mm. Nothing there now. Because as soon as we grab this thing, we are going to be on our way out. Excellent. Look at that. Darkness is far reaching, my friends. It is time to use this one remaining moss arrow. Here should be a good locale. That hallway is dark and is going to give me lots of freedom. Who goes there? Who made that? Okay, <clears throat> that makes noise, and this area is still lit enough to be a problem. We can make this work, though. Oof, intruder. We got a pro Gonna have to be more careful about how we make this work, but we can make this work. Is you over here and now there's one less only the other bowmen and the swordsmen remain sometimes these schemes take quite a while to get going but they do get going How well did you hear that? I know you're around here somewhere. Mm, too, too well. Over there. Stand forth in the right, we got. Sorry. I should have aimed the arrow just a little further back. By the way, shooting the. Uh, the moss patches with water arrows to spread the moss. Uh, that actually does work. That just works in a later thief game. So my memory was not completely wrong. Just not right in this instance. Only one problem remains. And he will wander up here shortly. Hello, you. And one more. We'll make one step across the tile there. And drop you off with your friends. Let's get this sword. 
Who wants to bet this doesn't go as smoothly as you'd want it to go? Well, it doesn't go smoothly at all when, when I don't properly grab the ledge like I was trying to there. We'll try again. Be holding the jump key. There we are. Time to take my new sword and get out of this crazy place. Indeed. Those guys tried to see me, but didn't do too great at it. Now all we have to do is get out. Hello, spooky voice. You're back. We have Constantine's sword. And there's nothing else on this floor. And we know there's nothing up there. And we know there's nothing below us. So pretty much all the really obvious places that there could be extra loot are taken care of. No doubt we've missed some of the wealth. But that's wealth we're just going to have to leave behind. And get out of here. This way. We want to fall down here. We can afford to sacrifice a rope arrow. We don't get to keep them. Hello again, spooky voice. No reason to follow me into the garden now. I don't remember what kind of threats emerge. Actually, I just remembered a place that we haven't been into that is obvious. We have not been into that guy's that guy's chapel room. possible one of those two guards in that area had the key. It's also possible that those two guys that we kind of ignored in that other area had something of value. I tell you what, I'm gonna go take one more stab at the chapel. As is. And then I'll load to see uh, what those other two guards had. I'll just run at them like a crazed tool again, and if they don't have anything, then we don't have to worry about it. Was was the flying there necessary, Garrett? We'll take another stab at this. Nope. No. No. And it's locked. We can walk across the carpet. We can approach the windows. We can look around all we want for a secret key or a secret button. But I don't see one. We can stab this mirror. That doesn't accomplish anything. We can't even swing it when we're up there. We can stab that. Shoot things into here. Maybe the sun wants fire. Take fire. A little lower. No, not accomplishing anything. It's not wood. And the sword doesn't do anything. Right! We've accomplished nothing in there. When was my last save? Hopefully a little higher up. No, a little further down, actually. Um... Why are you in this area of the area now? I this area of the area? Yes. Those are words. <gasps> Go away! You don't belong in this part of the level. Spooky voice. Sometimes you get stuck in here like this. Come on, we'll get through it. 
a little further. There we are. Right, where are the two idiots? Well, those are those two idiots. So actually going up is helpful to us. I still hear you, spooky voice. I don't remember seeing anything important on those guys. Not a key or anything. We go this way. We can get back to the hall that leads us here. I'm not going to save. Because it's a long way back, and I'm assuming they don't have anything. Listen. Here we go. Quick! He's right over here! Eat a box! It doesn't look like I can smash those. But I can take them for a race. Follow! Ah! <laughs> they got really the moss! <laughs> I thought they had stopped following me! Ah, well played. Okay, let's get out of here. Oh, I just can't shake the feeling of all the money I'm missing. Oh, stop. I've had enough of your antics, spooky voice. I wish I could say this is the spookiest thief ever gets, but that's not the case. Okay, we're back in, we're back to having to be a little careful because there are those guards out front that will hear me if I'm not cautious. This way is actually the way we want to go. Did I visit the basement from this side? That's locked. What's in it? I might not know. Nope. I won't know. There's so many doors I can't get into in this place, man. Um, we want to go one higher, don't we? So we don't actually want to go this way. Trying to find the entrance to the tower again. Best to leave the same way we entered, you know? Ah, this way. Like, we know the patrols we have to deal with out here, so. Any minute now, it'll register us as having left the level. Somebody might have heard that, actually. Huzzah! Whisk me away. What'd we miss? Probably quite a bit. Let's see. Well, oh, yeah, 400 something. That's quite alright. We'll live with that. One hour, 43 minutes, and 20 seconds. We only picked six locks. We knocked out 20 people. So far, we've been here for 9 hours and 51 minutes. Let's continue and get the cutscene for the next mission. Oh, no cutscene. Just straight to the mission. The Haunted Cathedral. <sighs> Find a way to the cathedral. Find a way to get inside the cathedral and steal the eye. Take the opportunity to steal other valuables. A valuable item called the serpentine, serpentile, serpentile, serpentile torque is reputed to be somewhere in these ruins. Find it. There used to be a monument in this part of town called the Watchman's Grave that thieves would leave coins on for good luck. You have brought some coins, just in case. Exit the ruins. No cutscene. Let's do our our shopping then. We'll always buy a tip. We're gonna need that holy water. We're gonna need a lot of this stuff. We have the coins. Okay. Notice that we're now using Constantine's sword. This strange black sword seems to prevent your foes from noticing you that you have drawn it, even when you are about to strike. It is like the sword, but it is no longer shiny. So pretty useless to us in the expert mode, but still nice to have. Okay. We have been robbed of our water arrows. How much are these? 200 a pop? 
Easy purchase. We'll buy those. Done. Moss arrows. We'll buy those. I made that mistake before. Rope arrows. I have five. I don't need any more. Nose maker arrows. I, I shouldn't need them. Especially because I have five. Flash bombs. I do need these. I do need these. I do not remember if this game has flash bombs hurt the undead. Fire arrows also help because you don't get a penalty for shooting dead things. Some of this stuff is actually more useful than I'm giving it credit for. I should actually probably trade up, trade in the uh, the moss arrows, and take some more damage. No, what? No, no. We'll keep these. We'll find things to take out things that are undead, but for the few enemies that we might have to deal with that are living, we're going to be thankful we have those resources. But let's still finish spending our cash anyways. We don't need these two. I don't think we need these. I'm going to be honest, mines are awesome. They cost a little bit more than the fire arrow does, but when fighting the undead, I'd rather have these. I can't buy another one, so I'll buy another fire arrow. Boom, just like that, we're set and ready to go. Unless one of these are particularly cheap. None of them are. Let's play the mission. Here we are. And there's already a piece of paper for us, but we'll worry about that later. Thank you all for watching. This is one of Matakos signing off. I'll see you all later. And when we come back, definitely one of my least favorite levels in Thief. I'll see you all later. Signing off.